Hello! Welcome to Saturday Afternoon Adventures. I'm your host, Robot Spacer. And also I am here. That's on Secret Crush. Good to see you, Junior Skeg and Culinary Disaster. Hope you all are doing well. So, uh, King's Quest 2015, or Adventures of Graham, if you prefer. Uh, we finished it up last week. Uh, I will skip a summary, since that would basically be summarizing the end of the game, and that seems a little silly. Um, but uh, there is an epilogue, which we're going to check out today. Um, at least in the PlayStation version, it's a little weird. Like, honestly, if nobody had told me there was an epilogue, I mm. don't think I would have known yeah. it ever existed. I guess it's possible, like, replaying the game, I might have noticed it at some point. But, like, I think I think basically they, they don't want to put it in the menu until you've completed the game. But then also you need to separately download it. Uh, so I had to, like, go to the PlayStation Store, search for it, click the button to download it, and then, like, close and relaunch the game before it would even show up. I'm not sure if it, a thing would have shown up at some point if I hadn't done all that mm -hmm. in that order. Um, but uh, I do have it installed and ready to go. So I think we'll just go ahead and get into it. Sound is a little quiet for me. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, we will be playing as Gwendolyn, which is very exciting. Queen's Quest. Exactly. It was my first solo trip away from home. I was well practiced within the safety of the castle walls. But today, my feather was going to get its first real notch. Every good adventure seeker knows to be prepared, and I most definitely am. Is this a choice? It seems like it must be a choice. Interesting. You're choosing a hatchet, a bow, or an adventuring rope. Is that what that is? I assume. <laughs> like, there have been so many in-jokes about mm -hmm. adventuring ropes throughout the series, I will be shocked if they don't call sure. it that. Hmm. It's very colorful, though. Yeah. That's tough. I guess I'm, I'm drawn to the adventuring rope. It is rather nice. Acorns, legendary adventuring rope. Oh, it's acorns, of course. Oh, I get all oh, okay. three. Okay. okay cool, cool, cool. Chaka's bow that Grandpa used on many a quest. Check. Who knows what danger lurks out here? It's important to be well prepared. Trusty hatchet. Check. I do kind of wonder if oh. it makes a difference what well, you picked I first. Yes, that's it. Mm. Interesting right, thought. Yarble snoofs. Yarble snoofs. Out wherever you are. I need that tracking badge. It's a yarble snoof. I don't know. They keep. Um... They keep inventing animals. Right. Yeah. Uh. uh I was gonna say there was okay. a points chime after the first and last things you picked up. Hmm. But not the second one, I don't think. Oh, the bow's not in here because the bow just is automatically equipped when yeah, you need it. Yeah, okay, so th that's why I didn't get a points chime, I guess. Yeah, I do think the the little chime is generally used for when you've added something to your inventory. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about... Um, I guess I don't really have too much to say about it, but I did uh, start replaying the game. Um, um, I... Am it, at least first starting down the uh, bravery path, um, trying to focus on like choosing the um, bravery choices, which tend to tend to be along the lines of like you know the I don't know how to describe them like tough tough guy like actiony choices. Mm. Um, not like opposite of compassionate <laughs> um like the dragon uh at the beginning you you shoot the dragon in the eye uh, mm -hmm. instead of like tricking it to to think there's food for it or uh letting it go um hey six seven good to see you 
Um, yeah, so that like I figured I, I would start doing like the the most opposite path possible. Um, but then I also started a compassion playthrough since it's kind of tricky because like first of all the the way I tend to approach a modern game, especially one that has trophies, like I'll do a normal playthrough that's just like you know doing doing whatever I want to do in the moment, like choose the choices that feel like the best choices to me that kind of thing uh and then if i want to play more especially like if i if i enjoyed it and there's like trophies um like i i like trophies as a way to explore parts of the game i might have missed um so like you know then I'll, I'll go through and you know look at all the trophies and and try to find all that stuff i missed um and then, you know, if if there's if I still want to continue playing it, you know, then I might start like looking more things up um, and stuff like that. So, um, so I figured bravery was gonna get me the most, you know, the biggest chunk of stuff I missed. But then I also started a, a third playthrough to do like the the strict compassion route, um, since like. I, I chose a lot of those choices, but like I, I was mainly on the wisdom path, um, and there were there were some trophies I, I had to uh, start a third playthrough to get. What? A queen still needs to develop new and important skills. You can always be better. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> But uh, so so far, I've gotten up to the third, the beginning of the third chapter. Uh, the the first chapter was pretty much what I expected. Like they give you a lot of freedom there, um, but also you kind of kind of end up doing the same stuff in the end. It's just like the way you go about things is a little bit different, especially the way you start out. Um, and then the second chapter, I was kind of surprised to discover that, um, like there's certain stuff with the hobble pots that you have to do. Uh, like there's two uh, potions you have to complete, um, which I, playing it initially, assumed that there would be like com completely alternate uh, approaches to those things got two sets of tracks here which is These interesting must be tracks. oh obviously must makes be. sense and these are these prints are all over the castle stables snoot. so definitely snoot tracks oh yes i did save mr fancy cakes this time uh that was very important to me to to see how that plays out uh and it was well worth it that was probably the the best reason to to replay things so we like we want to go this way right that's the creature we're after i already forgot what it's called yarble snoof yarble snoof it sounds right so i want to follow the little tracks <laughs> oh okay i saw i thought i saw tracks going off in this direction but it, they kind of make a circle and then they all go into these trees Oh, is it hatchet time? No, we can't do anything here. Hm. Oh, I had to observe the tracks first. Ah. Now is it hatchet time? Yes. I think these will work. Leafs. What are they gonna work for? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you need leafs for. Leaf stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. And there's the Yarble Snoof. They're said to be quite elusive, but I'm guessing everyone found them annoying and chose not to bring them to town. <laughs> I love it. Huh. The eyes are a little upsetting. Oh no. 
Uh... Hi. I guess I guess we're primarily interested in the green one. Why are they so obsessed with keeping their heads in the dark? Have you seen their eyes? Yeah, like, <laughs> probably the light is very, uh, uncomfortable. Hmm. I couldn't remember exactly what Yarble Snoofs like to eat, but I was sure it was in this forest. Is it leaves? No. So I can't actually... Hmm. I can't use an item on it. So I'm not sure what I need to do here exactly. These are nature's adventuring ropes. Of course. Okay. These are nature's adventuring ropes. We've covered that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I can't. Where can I do something? Okay, I could do something here. Moon, meet logic. <laughs> Round peg, square hole. Do I seem like I'm repeating myself? Oh, we've got more stuff over here to explore. Or is this a dead end? <laughs> this one hanging from the tree. <laughs> There's clearly an area over there. I guess maybe I could go out. Okay, I just gotta go around. <laughs> bunnies? Do you think the bunnies, have they ever named the bunnies? Do the bunnies have some weird name they haven't told us? That's a very good question. I cannot recall if anyone has ever said the word bunny. Tracks before. What else is out here? Hmm. Of course. Oh. Sugar shrooms. Nice. Oh. It's gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, I need to find a way to get those sugar shrooms. Okay. And we can't just reach in and grab them. And again, we can't use an item. <laughs> Could we go down here. No, interesting. That's, uh, that's the merchant guy. Do we ever learn his name? I don't know. It seems like I can go there. Did I leave these footprints? I don't remember walking here before. Definitely people prints. Sorry about the trouble, little one. <laughs> this 
looks to have the perfect spring for my trap. Does it? This looks to have the perfect spring for my trap. So... Can we put some leaves on it to disguise it? Perfect. Um, <laughs> could be better, I think. No, uh, perfect. No notes. Do we also need, like, some kind of bait? That seems like it makes sense. Maybe the sugar shrooms is... Oh, hole? Hmm. Hey, f -tom. Yes, we do get a, a short queen's quest. And she is a short queen, haha. <laughs> I don't see anything to do here. There's lots of interesting things that I can't find any way to interact with. Mm, what's this? I should hide here Ooh. once I've set the trap. Ah. I don't want to scare off any yarble snoofs. Good thinking. That also suggests we're not we're not done with the trap. Oh, there's a beehive up there. So again, I feel like the sugar shrooms is probably the the bait we want. I don't know how we would get them. We just have a hatchet now. Like there's a God. I keep forgetting the name of those. We'll just call them turkeys. Sn Snarble snoofs. I don't know. <laughs> um. There's one of them in there. So I like I I guess the we're just supposed to assume that you know if, if we stick our hand in there it's going to get bit or we'll just kind of get Huh. What would grandpa do? What would grandpa do? Probably make a bad pun. I felt as though I was at a loss for what to do. And then I remembered. I was a fourth-ranked Wetzel Wolf Scout. I needed to slow down and observe what was around me. <laughs> Are you suggesting we cut down the tree or murder the Snarble Snoof? I know that's not the right name. And here we find the Snoof. The scout guide says he can leap nearly 30 feet in the air. I feel that's unlikely. <laughs> it's a lot of wild snoots. I assume these are wild snoots. I wouldn't have made fourth rank Wetzel Wolf Scout if I couldn't recognize the tracks of a badger. Badger? Oh, uh-oh. Uh... It's fine. Let's hunt down this badger. I feel like a badger might help us here. It sounds like small food for a small animal. Hmm. Hmm. Like we could use that as the bait for the trap, but I feel like that seems too simple. Small animal. Like... Hmm. I guess maybe these, maybe these tracks are just to lead us to the fruit? I don't know.
Maybe I'm overthinking it. to trap multiple like this um stump is interesting mm -hmm. but like it's not i don't see how i could set up a trap here just like this combination of this like circle thing and then we she she pointed out nature's adventure rope over here. Like, there's got to be something I do here at some point. Maybe, maybe I'm trapping the squirrel at first, and then I maybe use the squirrel to get the um, sugar shrooms. <laughs> the squirrel over here. Hey, David, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Just double checking that I. Oh, yeah, okay. If I try to go north, I end up this way. So I don't think there's any way I can get back to where that cart is. Okay. So it's gotta do something, right? I feel like we're gonna catch a squirrel here. And now we wait and hide. I can't help but feel like we're gonna somehow fall in this giant hole behind us. Let me cut you down. Got you. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. <laughs> okay, so we got we got a badger. I guess that makes sense. Famously friendly creatures that mm -hmm. you want to have in your hat. But I guess we we saw a squirrel on the stump, but then we used bait that we know badgers like, so. I have to have the right idea with this. Hmm. Oh, right. It won't let me use anything on this tree. Maybe that comes later? <sighs> but what do I do with the badger? Well, I don't know that I've come across anywhere. I mean, what am I going to do? Just set a badger on a stump? It's yeah. just going to run away, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> it willingly hopped in your hood after you set it free from the trap. Yeah, I suppose. Warble, warble. <laughs> right, let's see what happens. I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't think nope. so either. Weird. I got nothing, man. Like all the, all the other areas of interest, I can't actually use an item on. <laughs> So what am I missing? Is it possible I need to do something with the snoots? Maybe I need to use the badger to scare off the snoots? 
Maybe there's something behind them. What would Grandpa do? Um, what would Grandpa do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Oh, is that just the tracks? These prints are all over the castle stables. So, definitely snoot tracks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so snoots are like horse dogs? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know why we needed to get here, but. I don't know why snoots like this so much. Oh. Banana. Bananas. Random stand of tropical fruit in this temperate forest. Oh, and we're autumn. back here now. Interesting. And these are the new snoot tracks. Oh, so they probably opened up this path as well. And then... Oh, okay. This tree has been knocked over now. Okay. I need to find a way to get those sugar shrooms. With your hand? Yeah, like... <laughs> It'd be nice if they better communicated what is exactly the problem here. Like, you know, we can see there's a, a little guy in there, but what what's going on exactly? Me? Right. Logic. Oh, okay. Do you know what the origin is of moon logic to describe weird puzzle solutions in these games? Is, is that just a thing that people say? I mean, it's a term that's been around for... Quite a while, I think. I don't know the origin origin of it. Okay. Was that effective? Yeah, you want to talk about moon logic? Like, what is the point of this, ma'am? <laughs> I need to find a way to get those sugar shrooms. Okay. So. Okay, so I can interact with this now. Round peg, square. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What do I need to do with that? Do I need to do I need to use the bananas for something first, perhaps? But what? I guess we know snoots like bananas, so I, do I need to figure out where the snoots went and use the bananas to get them to do something else, maybe? Mm. Let's go down. This area over this way. It seems like possibly that's where the snoots ended up. Everyone knows all the pieces fit through the square hole. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I guess not. All we have is a round hole. Just double checking. I guess I did this already. There's 
It's kind of a dead end there. I keep feeling like I'm missing something, but I'm probably just always overthinking it. Wait, oh, that was tracks. I can't think of why I would do this, but about the only thing I can think of that I haven't tried is using the bananas on this other stump. Okay, why does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so I had the right idea, just... It's just gonna get us. Am I missing something? Like, it just kind of walked off. And then, you know, there was a shot of the stump, which I feel like was kind of... meant to suggest that we missed something. This one that's just walking up and down the side of the tree. It's not very good. I can't think of what... ...else I could do here. I only got so many items. Maybe would putting a banana on the other stump be useful somehow? <laughs> Maybe I am about to go bananas. That won't work. And it's also, it feels possibly meaningful that my adventurer's rope is like around this stump like I can't I can't get it back <laughs> so that makes me feel like maybe this is the next thing I need to do but I don't know what to do with it oh maybe I should put a banana on this stump nope no oh wrong thing selected and then maybe yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> it was so obvious in hindsight. Mars <laughs> logic. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not moon. Okay. We got our sugar shrooms. That's what's important. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, sugar shrooms. Okay, now we need to use those on this other stump. But does that necessarily do what we need to do? Do I need to set more of a trap here? But again, I don't know how I would set a trap. Like, I feel like we've got other things here that could be used somehow, but I have no way to interact with them. So I guess I'm just gonna try putting down some sugar shrooms. And if it doesn't work, hopefully it will give us a hint. <laughs> okay. Okay. What? 
Is, are sugar shrooms like catnip for these guys? Seems like. Although, what did that accomplish? I I kind of think that while it was making its way over here, I maybe needed to come over here and do something with the vines. That's my oh, theory. Okay. I don't know what. But like it was, it was you know, it, it made a path, mm. and I feel like it's kind of guarding the vines, and maybe that's why I can't do anything with them while it's there. So, and there was an opportunity to like do something while it was coming over here. So I'm gonna see if I can figure this out again. These are nature's adventuring ropes. Yeah. Oh, hatchet. Oh, now I can. Oh, I was too slow. Uh -huh. <laughs> can I? Oh, I can't do it still. Sure, that's this how you cut a thing down. For what? What are we doing? Also, like, I already had a regular... Oh, I guess I don't have my... Uh, my acorns adventuring rope anymore. Moon? Meet logic. Do I need to use this tree? How do I... <laughs> Maybe I need to, like... There aren't any of these guys in the area, but that other tree and the other stump has a tree that, you know, makes it ideal for setting up a trap. So maybe I need to do another trap down there. Um, with the adventurer's rope and sugar shrooms. But does that, does that mean I also need more leaves? If only there was a source of leaves somewhere. There's still leaves there. Okay. And now we wait and hide. Got you. Now, just hop into my hood and we'll be on our way. Oh no. What are you doing in there? Oh. I can help. You got yourself into this mess, not me. I was just catching Yarble Snooze. Yarble Snooze. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you down. I'll just shoot you down instead of using my hatchet. I can't tell if that's Gart or not. Might be? Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm mashing X to pull back the... I didn't mean to do that. Why did I do that? Timer, timer, um, timer, timer, timer. There's a timer. Yeah, it's a Chaka. He was a friend of the family. Okay. Okay.
That's definitely not guard. Yeah. Uh, what? Shrek? <laughs> Wait! It's just a Shreky. Dragons are great. Shrek mean? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, am I? It seems to be just cutscene. I feel like they're gonna make me make us. Oh. Oh no! I knew I was gonna be suddenly forced to do something here. Um, oh jeez. What do I do? Uh, okay. Oh no. No. -uh. <laughs> oh. I was like, oh, there's a little hole off to the side here. Maybe I need to go in there? No. Um, hmm. 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 Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. I think... I think I might have the idea here. I just... Okay. Because uh... as we all know, snoots are a great way to get rid of a uh, fallen down log. We have learned this. Or not. Oh, there we go. Whew. Hatchet sugar shrooms. She looked at the snoot jumping up like, oh, that's a great idea or something. But how could I do that? Like, I thought, oh, maybe, do I still have a rope? Maybe I could, you know, toss that up on something and swing up, but I don't have a rope. Can you not simply, um, go off just the leave path? now? Yeah, just, yeah. Leave, just leave the circle. Right. Huh. No, that's none of your business. Now what? Um. I don't think so. Okay, we're not going back. <laughs> what are we doing now? Did I just leave? That seems wrong somehow. Okay. I need to do something with this tree, I guess? Chop it down? <laughs> Is this good? It's letting you do it! <laughs> Problem solved? What are we trying to do here? <laughs> I guess we're trying to rescue our new friend, but they could have simply left the circle yeah, like I did. We're also 
creating more problems, I think. We really are. It's a very dangerous situation we've created. Oh, hey, Daniel, I missed you coming in. I don't remember what Boda means. Oh, right. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, God. Don't. I can't do this. Yeah, don't okay. shoot your friend. Boda! You got this. Come on. Apanata. Apanata. Almost there. Keep going. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Oh no, I missed. Oh. You think he shot too early or something? <laughs> it exploded? <laughs> the wagon exploded. Mm -hmm. Boda for Woda. <laughs> that was amazing. We just defeated a twirling, whirling, gaggle of Yarble Snoops and the most menacing dragon I have ever seen. Well, it was the first dragon I've ever seen, but we did it! I can't believe I had to use a Chaka's bow. Are we dueling archers now? I, I don't want to duel you, I just think them. you're much better than me. But we can be super friendly archers. I didn't think I could make the shot. I'd never been able to make the shot, but you believed. And then I did. And then you threw the rope, and then you did it! This is the best adventure ever, and I'm still gonna get my Wetzel Wolf Scout patch, and now I have a new best friend, and this is the best! Oh, um, sorry. I get a bit excited when it comes to adventure. Afanata, I'm Queen Gwendolyn, granddaughter of King Grand the Wise. <laughs> Taskia, Achaka. Grand. Oh, a chuckle was your grandfather. <laughs> um, well, my grandfather gave this to me, but without a chaka, I wouldn't be here. It belongs to you. <laughs> really? Hmm. Afanata. Adventure again soon, Taskia. Maybe with less Shrekies. <gasps> Shrekie! No, it's fine. I don't think it meant to cause any harm. It's not even the same dragon. See? It's just hungry. Pet dragon. That was cute. That was adorable. Queen's Quest! They still, I demand it. They still didn't really address the whole, like, who's actually ruling the kingdom right now sure. while Gwendolyn is a child? Right. I, I assume Valenice is, like, doing a regency sort of thing. Right. Seems reasonable. <laughs> Okay, now I can catch up on chat. Yeah, sorry about the uh, confusion, Daniel. Uh, got a, a bit of a late start. I think I think I've uh, I finally accepted that four o'clock should be my normal start time on Saturdays. <laughs> Just gotta be careful that that doesn't drift into five or something. Sure. Well, I feel like since I settled on 8.30 for Tuesday, I've been pretty good at getting, right. you know, sometimes I'm a little bit late, but not sure. drastically. Yeah. Um, and especially, like, in the winter, like, when it gets dark so early, I have a really hard time keeping a normal schedule, yeah. which I already have a hard time with, so... Uh, could you give uh, Curtis Craig Talks a yes. shout out? Uh, Daniel often uh, regularly streams over there with uh, Paul Morgan Stetler, the actor that plays uh, Curtis Craig in Phantasmagoria 2. Mm. 
So, um, that was a pretty short one. Really. <sighs> Wasn't sure exactly how long that would take, but um, we'll let the credits wrap up and then uh, we'll take a little break and then I will start playing Wizard and the Princess. Um, as I've mentioned previously, uh, I did not realize that this was considered a uh, part of the King's Quest series until I uh, started my King's Quest streams. Um, Wizard and the Princess was like the second game that uh, Roberta and Ken Williams ever made, I believe. Um, it's an uh, Apple II game. And uh, it's like uh, it's it's a lot like Mystery House if you're familiar with that. So like it's a it's a graphical game, but not in the same sense as like you know the first King's Quest. It's more of like a text adventure with pictures. Um, and uh, I've never played any of their um, they call them high res adventures, <laughs> um, which certainly sounds. Uh, funny when you look at them these days um, <laughs> but uh, I've never played any of them before so this will be a, a very new experience for me um, I've kind of just poked around a, a little bit at the beginning of the game just to try to um, figure out the interface and stuff and uh I'm not sure that I have figured out the interface. Uh, the, the main thing I noticed is that the uh, controls are like, you know, in later text adventure games, you, and, and also the, you know, early like Parser uh, Sierra games are like, you know, the, the early King's Quest games, early Space Quest, etc. Uh, like, you have a lot more freedom with what you type and how the game is able to interpret what you're typing. Uh, this seems like it's a, a bit more uh, limited and, you know, you have to type exactly what it's expecting for it to understand. So, I may struggle a little bit, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. really curious if um i haven't i haven't kept up with the, all of the the interviews uh roberta and ken williams have done recently uh with their uh promoting their colossal cave game but i feel like it's been brought up you know whether whether uh roberta might consider making you know another king's quest or like you know any other game after colossal cave and i, I kind of think her response was just you know we'll see how this goes how right. people respond to it and like, you know uh, it seems like it seems like if if colossal cave does well then then she would definitely consider that seems like the sort of um, question that it would be like impossible to answer any other way right sure like you know we'll we'll see how this goes or but i mean knows what will happen in the future i mean you could certainly respond to it by saying you know well you know, I, I feel like, you know, I've moved on from that or, you sure. know, that kind of response. But, like, if you um, haven't moved on from that, but you also don't want to commit to something that doesn't exist. Right. Or ends up not existing, rather. Oh, nice. I, I was hoping we'd get a nice uh, <laughs> little bit of artwork at yeah. the end there. That's great. Queen's Quest. Hello, Quack Gab. Good to see you. That was great. The end. Okay, so uh, like I said, I'm going to take a little break and uh, set things up for Wizard and the Princess, and I'll be back in a few minutes.